Take control of your body and your busy schedule with Kathy Ireland's new Body Specifics Workout. Kathy targets the most asked about muscle groups, the abs, buns, and thighs with three time-saving 12-minute routines. And as a certified fitness professional, Kathy shows you the safest and most effective exercises that will reshape your body. Get specific with your fitness goals. Look for Kathy Ireland Body Specifics wherever videos are sold. Ireland. I want to thank you for helping make my first tape, Total Fitness, such a success. I'm very grateful to you. I appreciate your confidence in me. This program, along with Total Fitness and Body Specifics, is the newest in a series of tapes designed to bring you optimum health, fitness, and empowerment. Just like most of you, I lead a busy life. I'm a wife and a mother, which is my first priority, and then I have the other pressures of balancing my career with the priorities of my family. When I feel myself getting really stressed out, I stop, take a deep breath, and evaluate my priorities. I get a lot of inner peace from my faith, and I work out my outer kinks with exercise. As a certified fitness professional, I wanted to develop a program that would offer people a way to help reduce the stress we all face on a daily basis. So I worked with an exercise specialist named Jamie Brenkus. Together, we created a program specifically designed to relieve stress rejuvenate your mind and strengthen your body. We call it REACH because it helps you reach for peak performance in your everyday life. Life is full of things we can't control, but we can control how we react to stress, and that is exactly what this program concentrates on. We'll be using techniques that will relax you and give your muscles renewed strength. One thing I love about REACH is it doesn't matter what your level of fitness is. This program is not tough, but it is effective. If you're not used to working out, our REACH formula will guide you to new muscle strength. If you're in top condition, you'll be surprised at the new inner peace you'll get from our relaxation techniques and the additional strength your muscles will get from our combination of muscle moves. Please remember that no matter what your fitness level, you should always consult a physician before starting any new fitness program. REACH is a program built on air. Just like an engine needs fuel to run, your muscles need oxygen. Our entire workout emphasizes the effective use of oxygen as fuel for energy. The program is divided into four sections. First, we'll work on breathing and posture. Then we'll stretch. We'll follow with an upper body sculpting workout that will further enhance your posture and breathing. We'll finish with a great stress reliever that will reduce tension in our bodies from head to toe. Now I want to introduce you to the friends that I have working here with me. This is Andre. How you doing? Hey, Andre. Ready to do it? <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. This is Mitch. Thank you. Hey, Mitch. And Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> and this is someone very close to me, Mom. <laughs> hey, Mom. <laughs> okay, Reach is a workout program designed to revitalize, refresh, and rejuvenate. Well, we're ready to get our motors running. Let's start to reach. 
Let's go. Okay. Ready? Let's do We're going to start with a vitality stretch. Good. Knees are slightly bent. Raise your arms above the head. Stretch it out. And exhale. Good. Again. Stretch it out. The theme of body reach is more oxygen means more energy. Oxygen is what gives our muscles energy. If a car doesn't get enough fuel, it runs badly. Without fuel, the engine dies. If you deprive your muscles of their fuel, you're headed for trouble. Okay, now reach up and stretch. Really stretch it out. Feel that stretch. Feel your body elongate. And breathe. Now we're going to place our hands on our hips, doing a breathing exercise. Take a normal breath in and exhale. Big, deep exhale. Let all that air come out. And breathe. And you want to make sure that you don't hyperventilate. Breathe too quick or shallow. If you start to feel dizzy or faint, you want to stop and start over. But it's important to breathe to give your muscles nourishment. Most of us aren't breathing sufficient amounts of oxygen to keep our muscles energized. So it's important that we work on this. And this is our, the first part of our program. Good. Now we're going to look, listen, and feel. Place your hands just on your rib cage as you inhale. Watch the ribs expand. Listen as the air leaves your lungs and you can feel the abs contract. And inhale. Now just by improving your posture alone, you can increase your breathing capacity by 30%. That means 30% more energy. Feel those abs contract as you exhale. Good. Now we're going to reach with our right arm. And we reach up towards the ceiling. Feel that stretch. Good. You feel as if you're reaching for a leaded balloon that's trying to get away. And then pull it in. Good. And tighten those muscles. Feel the resistance. Feel the weight of that as you pull the arm in. And again, and really reach, good, we're stretching and we're strengthening, and pull it in, feeling that resistance, good, and again, and pull it in, good, take a deep breath, Reach. Good. And pull it in. And other side. Reach for the ceiling. Breathing. And pull it in. Good. Our breathing and our posture go hand in hand. Improving our posture is going to enable us to take in more oxygen more energy. Pull it in. Good. Really reach. Stretching it out. Feel that stretch. And it's important that you take the time to breathe correctly, work on your posture. It makes your everyday tasks that much easier. Okay, now we're going to bring the shoulders back. Good. Think of bringing those shoulder blades back as if you can make them touch. Squeeze it back and then relax. And this is a great exercise if you want to improve your bust line naturally. If your shoulders are rounded, your breasts will sag. But no matter how old you are, you can reduce the sag in your breasts by 50% just by standing tall. 
and relax. It might feel unusual at first, having your shoulders back, but it's the proper body positioning. The shoulders, the hips, and the knees should all be aligned. And release it. And back. Really push those shoulders back. And oxygen nourishes depleted tissue and restores it to top condition. Oxygen combines with the food we eat to produce energy. The better condition we're in, the more, the more oxygen your body can utilize. Okay, now we're going to do another breathing exercise. Take a normal breath in. And as you exhale, feel the abs contract. Feel them really tight and squeeze out every last drop of air from your lungs. Feel those abs contracting. Good. It's important to be in touch with your breathing so you can breathe more effectively and efficiently and giving yourself more oxygen, more energy. Really tighten those abs. Our abs are our center of gravity. It's important that we keep them strong. It's good for your support, it helps your posture, it keeps the body in its natural alignment. And breathe it out. Now let's put that together and do a vitality stretch, good. Combining posture and breathing. And exhale, good. We're going to keep our oxygen flowing as we move into the stretching part of our program. Good. One more. Deep breath. And exhale. Okay, let's get ready to start stretching. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Stretching is the best kind of exercise for relaxation. Stretching loosens your muscles and releases tension. As you stretch, your mind can wander and you can imagine yourself in a peaceful state. The more you stretch, the more flexible you become. Stretching just plain makes you feel good. Now let's reach for that good feeling. We're going to begin our stretching with a vitality stretch. Good. Inhale as you bring your arms up. Really reach up. Exhale as you lower the arms, keeping the knees soft, the buttocks tucked under, abs are lifted, shoulders are back and relaxed. that stretch. Good. Stretching really helps to elongate the muscles. Gives you that long, lean look. Now let's reach to the right side. Good. Feel that stretch in the obliques. You never want to stretch to the point of pain. Do any bouncy moves. These are slow, static stretches. Really stretch. Now let's bring the arms forward. Good. Round the shoulders. We're stretching out the back. Good. Really get those arms out there. Feel the stretch in the back. And bring the arms down and just let yourself hang. We're stretching the lumbar, which is the lower back. This is an area that carries a lot of tension. It's really important to stretch this out. Just let yourself hang, relax. And slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bring your ear towards your shoulder. We're going to stretch the neck. 
You can place your hand on your head to gently, just gently pull. Good. And other side. Good. Just think of bringing that ear towards the shoulder. right arm and bring it straight back, keeping the shoulder square, keeping our body square. Just bring that arm back. We're stretching our pectorals, which is our chest. Good. Bring that arm back as far as you can. Breathe and relax. Yeah. yeah. And other side, it's important to remember to breathe. The more oxygen you take in, the better it flows to your muscles and energizes them. Sometimes people want to hold their breath. Now clasp your hands behind your back while standing erect. And pull your arms back up as high as you can get them. Feel that stretch. Yeah, this is a good one. and release it. Now bring your right arm across your body. Your left fist is just above that elbow, gently pressing the arm against your body. We're stretching out the shoulder. Good. Other side. Good. Yeah, stretching, it helps you with any kind of sports, activities that you're involved with your endurance. Great first thing in the morning, too. It is. It really helps your day. It, it makes you less accident prone, which um, I really need. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little blood going. Now we're going to stretch, stretch the tricep. Bring the arm up. Good. And gently pull that elbow back. Bringing the hand back between your shoulder blades. Good. Stretching the tricep. A nice, slow stretching improves your flexibility. You don't want to bounce. You could injure muscle fibers and connective tissue if you do. It's good too. You see some people bouncing. Yeah, you do. And you can really do yourself a lot of harm. It's a nice, slow stretch. Other side. Stretch. stretch. Up. And down. Let's bring the arms forward and round the shoulders. Stretch the back. Now we're going to stretch our quad. I'm going to bring that heel up to the buttocks. Good. Stretching out the quad. If you need to use a chair for balance, that's fine. You want to make sure that you keep your knees together. Good. And other side. Yeah, stretching is a gentle form of exercise. We're going to sit back on our bent leg, good, extend the front leg, bring the toe up towards the ceiling, flattening your back, and stretch out the hamstring, good, keep those abs lifted and the back flat. Good. And other side. Bring that toe up towards the ceiling. Your hands are rested on the bent leg. Good. Help support the back. Okay, now we're going to go to the side. We're going to stretch out the groin. Good. Nice, easy stretch. Don't be fooled by the ease of stretching exercises. They're very effective. Now we're going to pivot. 
I'm going to stretch the hip flexor, bring that knee down. The front knee should not go past the toe. Good. Stretching that hip flexor. Yeah, you feel that right across the front. Yeah. Now take that back leg and press the heel into the floor. Good. Your hands are on the front leg, leaning forward for support, stretching out the calf. Good. Just really press that heel into the floor. Feel that? Oh, definitely. Good. Okay, now back to center. We're going to stretch the other side of the groin. Pivot, stretching the hip flexor. Good. You can do these same stretching exercises before you start any aerobic workout. The stretches will warm up your muscles, help prevent injury, and make your body more flexible so you can reach for your peak level of performance. Good. Now bring that heel back, leaning forward, hands on the leg, stretching out the calf. This is good. These are good for you, Mom. You do a lot of walking, and these are great. And vitality stretch. Up and breathe. Good. Now we're going to sit on the floor, extending our right leg, lifting from the diaphragm. We're going to stretch the hamstring. Good. You want to be sure that you're sitting up, lifting from your diaphragm, not rounding over. Think of bringing your chest towards the leg. Good. Slow stretch. Now cross the leg over, rotating at the waist. We're going to look over our back shoulder, stretching the low back. You can really feel that one, too. Also yeah. in the thighs. In the yeah, you can. Lower butt. Yeah. Lower butt, yeah. And other side, good. Extend the left leg, lean forward, slow stretch. And you can stretch as often as you can throughout the week. The stretches will relax you and keep you flexible for all your daily activities. Kind of important almost to stretch every day. It is, it really is. And crossover, rotating at the waist, good. It's really a great idea to stretch every day. Makes you feel better, makes you perform better. Good. Now keeping the legs in that position, we're going to roll back on our backs. Good. Roll on our backs. And we're stretching out the buttocks. Bring those legs in. That one is a good one. Yeah, I can feel <laughs> that one. Must be, I can feel it. Now switch the legs. in the butt. Now we're going to extend the right leg, Good. stretching out the hamstring. Good. Think of bringing that leg towards your chest. If your leg starts shaking, you've probably reached your limit. <laughs> Now bring the leg across your body, keeping both shoulders on the floor, stretching out our low back. And other side, lift that left leg, bring it towards you. Slow stretch, you can gradually increase the stretch. And bring the leg across your body, keeping both shoulders on the floor. Good. Breathe. Now bring both knees into your chest. Good. Stretching out the low back. Stretch out 
legs and your arms go in opposite directions. Really stretch it out. And this one feels good. It's a nice, relaxing stretch. So many of us are so busy during the day, we just don't take the time to relax and to stretch. Any time. Before you go to bed or when you first wake up in the morning. And bring the knees into your chest. Stretch it out. Feel that stretch. Great job. You're all finished with your stretching. This segment of our program will help us sculpt our upper body. By making our arms, chest, and back stronger, we'll improve our posture significantly. That means we'll breathe more efficiently and we'll look a lot shapelier too. Okay, now to begin, let's have a wide stance where the legs relax, the knees are slightly bent, good, buttocks is tucked under, abs are lifted, shoulders are back and relaxed. Now we're gonna tense every muscle in our arm and very slowly feel that resistance as you bring the arms in towards your chest and tighten each muscle as you go. Really feel those muscles tighten in your chest. Good. Tighten it. Good. And bring the arms back, keeping the muscles contracted. Good. You're creating your own resistance here, so you've really got to make it work. Concentrate on tightening those muscles. Good, now really tighten the chest as you bring the arms in. Really squeezing the pecs, right? You're really squeezing the pectorals. Really squeeze them as tight as you can. And bring it back. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Good, now we're going to go on to our lats. We have the right arm. We want to lift. Pull up that arm. Feel the resistance. As if you're trying to pull a lawnmower that just won't start, just feel the tension there. Keeping the tension in the arm, release it. Good, and pull it again. Pull I think it. my lawnmower's out of gas. <laughs> feel that tension. Good, keeping that arm. All those muscles tight. Now, other side. We're working the muscles in our lats. Good. Keeping those abs tight. Keeping the abs tight. Yeah, remembering to breathe. Keeping all the muscles tight in the arm too as you pull up and really feel that resistance. Standing up, we're gonna bring our right arm out. We're gonna really feel that resistance as we bring it up about shoulder level. Good, tighten all the muscles in the arm and bring it back down again. Good, this exercise really helps to strengthen our shoulders. And the arm is a little bent. The arm is a little bent. Yeah, that looks great. Good, Stephanie. Good, Mom. And down. And other side. Bring it up. Good. And having nice, strong, defined shoulders really helps our whole figure. It makes our waist appear smaller. And get rid of those shoulder pads. <laughs> lift the arm up. Feel that resistance. And down. And with your right hand, make a fist and slowly push it up, feeling the resistance, pushing it up towards the ceiling, and down, and up. We tighten those muscles. Good, it's a slow, controlled movement. Really working it. It's really a matter of mind over muscle. You really gotta think about those muscles you're working. Concentrate. Other side. Not locking the arm though when you go up, right? No, you don't lock the arm when you go up. Just keep it tight. Keep it tight. This is a 
five minute body sculpting class for the upper body so you can just grab five minutes whenever you can and really work on strengthening the upper body right, now we're going to do some bicep curls Good. put that on right inside the leg and bring it in and tighten it make a fist tense all those muscles Good. keeping the arms strong body tends to be weak, so this has been a great exercise for me. I've really been feeling strong since I've been doing these. Another side. Good, bring it in. It's amazing what you can do with your own strength and that. Even you can. It. Work at your own resistance. The arm is bent, and then we're going to extend it. And bend it in, good. You don't want to lock it when you extend it. Keep the muscles strong. Really squeeze it. You feel those triceps working? Good. Good. And other side. These are going to give you nice, strong, shapely arms. Good. Remembering to breathe. Tighten those muscles. Make it work. Good. Now standing up. Let's do a vitality stretch. Arms come up. Exhale. Good job. That All was right. great. Was yeah. That was great. Anytime you can find five minutes to work the upper body, these, these are great exercises to do. Now our last segment is guaranteed to help relieve your tension. Okay, for this wasn't everybody, come on in close. Great. Okay, we're going to do a stress reduction class. <laughs> this really is going to help our tension. We're going to work the entire body from head to toe. Okay, this program is isometric. We're going to strengthen our muscles by making them work against themselves. And you're going to look pretty funny as you do some of these, <laughs> but the results you get are serious. Okay, let's begin with the muscles in our face. Everybody, make a frown. Okay, we carry a lot of tensions in our face, in our foreheads, and our scalp. So frown, tighten those muscles. Tighten, tighten. I'm sure we all look kind of <laughs> strange, but tighten those muscles and release it. And feel the tension leaving your forehead, leaving your face. Good. Now squint. Everybody squint. Everybody Good. Everybody does it, then you can't see them. <laughs> yeah. We carry a lot of tension in our eyes. Good. Really tighten those. And release it. Feeling the tension leaving your eyes. Now clench the jaw. Good. Really tighten those. <laughs> clench those teeth. <laughs> yes, we all sound a little funny, but... <laughs> tighten those. Tighten that jaw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> and release it. Good. Place your hand against your head. Good. And feel the resistance of your hand against your head. Good. Working the muscles in our neck. Carry a lot of tension in our necks. Press it. Press it. And release. Another side. Good. You'll make your muscles work hard by tensing them. As you tense, the oxygen gets used up. Then you relax and breathe new oxygen into the muscles. That was great. Okay. The hands come underneath the chin. Good. Now press the chin against the hand. 
this with those saggy chins? <laughs> Carry a lot of tension in our faces and our chins and our neck and shoulders, our whole body actually. Places you're not even aware of. Press it and release. And you want to cradle the neck, hands come behind the head there, and press against the hands. Good. And breathe. Remember to breathe. And release it. And we're going to bring the shoulders up, up into a shrug, pressing those shoulders up. And we tighten that. And release. And we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good. Really feel that squeeze. Mm -hmm. That's very good. And release it. Good. Let's do that one again. Pull that back. Good. And you feel the tension releasing as you increase the oxygen. Good. And release it. Shake it out. Good. Now press your hands together. Good. Just really press the hands together, tensing the muscles in our chest. Be good for a bus line. Yeah. yeah. It's not for the ladies. Not just for women. Everyone. How are you all doing? Good. Release it. Good. Now tighten the abs. Really squeeze your abdominals as tight as you can. Squeeze it, tighten them, tighten them. Good, make your stomach as hard as you can. Just tighten those muscles. Tighten them. And release it with your right hand. Make a fist. Good. Just clench those fingers, make a fist as tight as you can. Keep breathing and release it and feel the tension leaving your fingers. And other side, squeeze it, squeeze it, good. Really feel that squeeze in the hand and the arm. Good, and release it, shake it out. Now both hands together. Good. We get so much built up stress and tension in our everyday life. It's really important to take the time to relax and to do these types of exercises that really help to relieve that tension. And release it, shake it out. Good, now bringing the arms up. Good. Up to your chest. Tighten it. Impressive. These are great because you can do them anywhere. You can. You can do them. It doesn't take up a lot of space. <laughs> yeah, if you have a coffee break at work, feel yourself getting stressed, these do wonders. And release it. Good. Now bringing the arms back behind you. Good. Really tighten those muscles. Feel those muscles work as you bring the arms back up and tighten them. Just tighten that tricep. Yeah, really work that tricep muscle. And shake it out. Good. Now we're going to bring our right leg back and we're going to squeeze our right cheek. Just squeeze it as tight as you can. If you spend a lot of time during the day sitting down, you carry a lot of tension in your butt. You really need to, uh, to work that out. Good, really squeeze it, squeeze it tight as you can. And release it. And other side, squeezing it. Just feel that muscle contract, tighten it. Now we need to shake that out too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Squeeze it tight, squeeze it tight. Good. And release it, feeling that tension leaving. Good. Now 
slightly lift your foot off the ground, tighten the leg, working on the thigh right now. Really tightening that muscle. Good. It's good for balance too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep your foot close to the ground in case you need it and release it. Good. And other side. We tighten that muscle. Think about tightening all those quads. Good. Squeeze it. You pull up, you can stay balanced a little longer. Mm hmm. And release. Now we're going to work the calf. Tighten that muscle. Good. Just tighten it as much as you can. Breathe. Okay. Doing good. <laughs> and release it. Release that tension from your calf. And the other side. Good. Tighten it. Tighten it. Think about the muscle that you're working. Think about relieving all that tension, all that stress from your day-to-day -day living. Good. Just let it go. And release it. And we're going to curl our toes under. Tighten the toes. Curl them under, tighten them. Good. It's for those achy feet. Yeah. Curl them under and release it. Good. Shake them out. And other side. Good. Curl them under. So great when you come home from work, you know? Yeah. Just to release all this. It is. It feels great. It gives you a boost of energy. And for me, it makes me feel better. It makes me a, a friendlier person. <laughs> I feel better, have more energy. And release it. Good. And we've got one last big energizing vitality stretch here. Inhale. Good. Remembering that good posture, good deep breath. Great, and that is it. All right. Good yeah. job, everybody. Very good. good. <laughs> good. Thanks. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed our time together. By now, you must be feeling rejuvenated and ready to reach to greater heights in your daily life. Remember, you face stress and tension every day, but if you reach with us at least three times a week, your tension and stress will be minimized and you'll start feeling more energetic as a result. So continue to stand tall, breathe deeply, stretch your muscles and your mind, and strengthen and relax your body. You're getting stronger and better every time you reach with us. We'll see you in 48 hours. Woo! <laughs> there you go. Good All job. right. Good job. Thank you, Andre. <laughs> Very good.
take control of your body and your busy schedule with Kathy Ireland's new body specifics workout. Kathy targets the most asked about muscle groups, the abs, buns, and thighs with three time-saving 12-minute routines. And as a certified fitness professional, Kathy shows you the safest and most effective exercises that will reshape your body. Get specific with your fitness goals. Look for Kathy Ireland Body Specifics wherever videos are sold.